Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for weekly automotive mechanical content for the average shade tree mechanic. All right, guys, good to have y'all back. So in this video, I'm actually going to be ceramic coating my truck. One thing that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, my garage space is not that much, uh, but it's enough to close the garage door and fit the truck. Uh, and so I don't usually do this. I had to do it once or twice for the hurricanes um, But there's literally like only like three inches to spare and that's like total from the front to the rear uh, the clear coat uh, Really isn't thick compared to a lot of other car manufacturers I know this one was made down in uh, Mexico and I know everyone has the same issues just like the clear coat not being as thick I've waxed it a couple times in its life. I've only had it for a year, but I've always wanted to do this. Uh, and so now is a perfect opportunity for me to actually do it. So reasons why you would want to actually ceramic coat your truck is for obviously added protection, added durability to your paint. Uh, it more so looks like and feels like a, like a, a glass protecting layer that will go on top of your clear coat that your clear coats on top of your paint. So just some added um, protection. It's easier to wash. I have a pressure washer. Uh, and so I do know they're still gonna get, you know, dirt, uh, dust is all gonna just, you know, lay on top of it. But the thing is, it's gonna be easier to wash. And with that glass looking layer, glass feeling layer on top, and that's the best way I can describe it, um, the truck's just gonna pop, you know, when it's outside, sun shining on it is just gonna look that much more shiny and brighter and look a whole lot cleaner uh, what i actually bought to ceramic coat my truck was adams good price i bought this off of amazon bought a few other things but this a lot of good reviews comes with a single soft polishing towel i guess a quick guide all right two of those actually you have the paint coating itself all right, you have ceramic boost that you put after surface prep. All right, and this would take off all the oils and whatnot, waxes, any any last things that stick on the truck. And then you have two of these micro suede applicator pads. You got a glove, you got some little spray nozzles. All right, and I think you got, what is this down here? Oh, anyways, everything has its purpose. Uh, it was either this or going with something, what was the other name of it? Jack's Wax, that's a pretty good price too. Uh, but you can't go wrong, they're both 9H. I'll put both of the links in the description below. So if you wanna check those out, feel free to. And there's enough uh, paint coating in here, say if you wanna do your wheels. Uh, I've heard of people doing actually their tail lights and their headlights. Um, so if, if that's one thing you would want to do, you can use the ceramic coating for a lot of other um, uses. You know, I actually did my mud flaps too. All right guys, so the steps I'm gonna take to get this ceramic coating on my truck. So the first thing you wanna do, and I wish I would've done this first, is uh, taking off the mud flaps. It's just make sure there's nothing blocking you in your way of using the micro suede and getting that ceramic coating on the truck. If there's something that's gonna be in your way, take it off. Um, so I wish I would have taken off my mud flap so I can wash underneath the mud flaps because there's going to be a lot of uh, dirt uh, that just builds up over time. So take off those things like that and then you want to wash your truck. Sorry. All right guys, so after you wash it and you dry it, what you want to do is make sure uh, that sh there's no other contaminants, uh, things of that nature, grime, tar, that's really sticking out. So what you want, really want to do is clay bar it, all right? And this, I'll put everything that I'm using for this process in the description below. But here's some clay bar. So I plan on using this. I've had it for quite a while. Uh, I've actually clayed it in the past too before waxing it. Uh, but one thing that I saw on the store counter the other day and it's already for me to clay because I'm at this point already. All right, is one of these looks like this. Fits pretty good in the hand. I threw, I threw in some Griot's uh, car wash in there to act as a lubricant as I'm clay barn or as I'm using that speed clay is what they call it. 
All right, so let me show you this. Speed Clay 2.0. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Anyways, next gen paint and surface prep. Clean, smooths, restores, reusable for up to 20 vehicles. Essentially, they come up with a different way to clay bar without using a clay bar. All right, so I have some quick detailer that I'm gonna use uh, as well as some car wash uh, with some water. It's really silky so that it just more so glides. All right, so the next step after you clay bar is actually going through the polish. Now, being that my truck's only a year old, I never took it through the touchy car wash or all those things flying around. Uh, I never had anyone wash my truck. It, it was either me using a, a nice microfiber cloth or a mitt to wash it. So nothing really scratched it, but I do know there are some fine scratches. If you have any thicker scratches, uh, you might want to compound first and then move down to the polish all right the polish is uh finer and so this is more so the last step all right i'm just going to use the pad that i showed you and just essentially polish all the truck picked up uh, one of these seven seven inch variable speed uh, polishers from harbor freight and uh it'll it'll get the job done i think i spent like 47 bucks on it uh, everything's always on sale there and so I uh, got it for a good deal. But the thing is, is that uh, I don't do a lot of polishing. So I saw one at AutoZone for like 160. Now that one's pretty good. That one's really good. It's, what is it, a dual action uh, variable speed. Um, this one's not dual action. It's just variable speed. But it does tell you the level of revolutions. So let me go ahead and finishing up polishing the truck. And then I'll move into the next step, which is going to be making sure there's no nothing on top of the paint which is uh, using a prep spray so let me go ahead and finish out this polishing and yes it is the next day um it's is this is a long process be warned this is a long process so if you don't have the time or energy patience for this and i usually don't um but i brought in my truck i'm making it a two-day process and so that that's a little easier on me Alright, so just a quick note, a quick tip, what I'm using, I know a lot of people like this, it's just the Meguiar's Ultimate Polish, it's the pre-waxing glaze, so this is what I'm using, uh, yeah, there's like other polishes that are like super fine, but I like this one, um, a lot of great reviews, and so this is what I'm using to actually polish the truck. All right, so I got, I just have this side, and just so you know, I'm not doing the hood, I'm not doing the top of the truck, just due to the fact that I am restrained by my garage size, and so trying to get it done, um, it's it'll be a little tough, and so I'm gonna do that some other time. All right guys, so all the polishing is done. Everything looks great. Now there's still gonna be a little bit of that polish residue still on the truck. So this brings us to step four, right? And they give you a little small booklet of, of uh, the steps to go off of. So steps one through three was everything that I just did, all the prep work. Uh, we're really still doing prep work, but step four says, after all the pavement surfaces have been clayed and polished, Continue the cleaning process by using Adams Coating Prep 
to leave the paint bare and free of any residue. So this is the surface prep. It's not like alcohol, so I'm rubbing alcohol. And so I'm gonna use one of these single soft polishing towels uh, along with that mix and actually just go over all the paint that I'm about to throw on some ceramic coating on. And then step six will be put on the set of supplied rubber gloves to avoid, avoid any coating contact with your skin. Adam's paint coating will make the applicator sticky. And this is where it gets into actually at, uh, actually throwing on the ceramic coating, all right? Uh, but first, I gotta try and get all the residue off, just make the paint bare as possible. I'm gonna use this towel, and use the surface prep, get to work, and uh, take out everything that I could. All right guys, so it's come to this time, um, right at around, I think six hours. But now it's time to actually apply the ceramic coating. I have the microfiber applicator, the coating bottle, uh, and then I have my single soft uh, polishing so towel. Pour several drops of paint coating onto the supplied microfiber applicator. Immediately secure the cap onto the bottle. I'm just gonna put uh, more so of a line of the coating and then just work in a two foot by two foot area up down and then left right movements use an even pressure on the surface make sure it fully covers the area and you may need to wipe back and forth a few times to level the coating properly after 15 to 30 seconds coating will have a rainbow effect in appearance uh, you won't be able to see it as much on a white uh, vehicle uh, you will be able to see it a little better with darker painted vehicles uh, but nonetheless, that's why they give us 15 to 30 seconds to keep that in the back of our head. Use a second clean single soft towel to quickly wipe away all residue. Do not allow paint coating to dry on any painted surfaces, exclamation point. So essentially, yeah, I'm gonna work on a two by two foot area, but I want to try and work each panel piece at a time. These doors are very huge, um, but I will try and probably cut it in half and then do the bottom portion. All right guys, finally done. It's been 48 hours since I've done the first coat of the ceramic coating, and it's been 24 hours since I've done the second coat. Uh, yes, I did two coats. So after I threw on that first coat, um, I let it cure overnight, I stayed. Um, of course it takes like, what is it, two, one, two, three weeks in order to fully cure. Uh, but for the first 24, 48 hours, I wanted to keep it in my garage. I did have enough coating enough to do a second coat. So after that first coat, I did some more research. I thought about it um, and yeah, they're like, yeah, you know, two coats is fine. Anything more than really like some people put on like four coats or whatnot. Uh, first of all, you don't have as much uh, coating to do about three coats, especially on the size of our trucks, uh, but you could do two. I still have some left over to do the hood as well as the roof of the truck. Now, the reason why I did uh, the second coating is one, I still had some left, uh, two, just for added gloss. Um, so due to the fact that this is a consumer uh, ceramic coating, uh, not a professional installed, that, that's, I mean, that stuff costs a whole lot. 
uh, but that stuff also lasts a whole lot longer than consumer grade ceramic coatings. I wanted more gloss. I still had some left over. Why not? It looks super good after the first coating and so I went for the second coating. Now the thing is you don't want to use too much uh, because it only grabs that top coat. All right, so whatever lays on top of it, it's not like paint. Paint, the more you, uh, the more coats you actually throw on uh, paint on your walls, whatever, um, the more of a uh, thick coat that you'll have on the actual wall or whatever you're painting. You just need to use enough, enough to actually uh, touch the actual paint. It grasps, then you buff it off. Make sure you buff it off all of it so that that excess residue does not lay on there it's not a paint don't think of it as a paint all right so once you throw it on there make sure it's buffed off after it's been flashed uh, for this stuff it's 15 and 30 seconds uh, so just one one tip last instruction or step that they say is to use the ceramic boost 24 hours after the coating all right and so the instructions is spray ceramic boost over the ceramic coated area uh, using adams premium microfiber double soft towel that they give you Buff off Adam's ceramic boost. Step four, repeat the process every third to fourth wash to maintain the hydrophobic structure of the ceramic coating. And then it also gives you instructions for non-coated services. All right, so this is uh, the, the last step that I have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, followed by showing you some spectacular shiny paint that I have on my truck. So let me go ahead and do this last step and get into showing off the truck. So if y'all don't have the material equipment, I'll go ahead and post those links and you'll be able to find them below. Uh, check them out. Um, also, I'll post a few different coatings. Uh, really, they all do the same thing. I've done a lot of research, really. Uh, Adams, C Quartz, uh, what are the other two? Geon, Jax Wax. So I'll go ahead and post those if you want to do your own research. Check those out before purchasing a ceramic coating. Uh, but I hope I helped you out. Hope I showed y'all uh, how really easy it is. I'm just a guy. I'm no pro pro detailer i'm just a guy who likes seeing his truck clean make it easier uh, to wash i did have some time took me about seven seven eight hours total uh, besides curing um, but that's about it so really anyone can do this you have a polisher and i'll go into it in the description uh, but hope y'all like the video if you have any questions or comments go ahead and let me know below but until next time ciao perfect